The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. Today we're going to be speaking about body language. They are normally not as participant at work. What's your name? Raheem. I trust you, bro. Hey. One of our shout out people was Andrew. Oh. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. The Motivational Missionaries Tour of Belize 2015. How are you guys doing today? So, actually, I'm not even lying to you guys at all. I am completely nervous. This is my first time on stage in front of this many people. And every time, I went out there and sometimes I fell flat on my face and sometimes I did pretty good. Help everybody tap into the potential so we can make the world a better place. Thank you guys. As they were delivering the message, I actually sat in the audience and watched the messages so I could feel what the audience was receiving. I was proud and I was really grateful to have a team and everyone is always willing to push the envelope. Everyone is always willing to step out of their comfort zone. Yeah, I feel like I did a lot better. It's just, you start talking and you kind of get into it and then you look at the entire crowd and you're like, oh, <laughs> And then that feeling comes when you're like so nervous where you kind of forget what to say. I think horrible. We'll do better next time. It's okay, we got what, six more times? <laughs> yeah, but I didn't like how I did that one at all. It's still mad we got six more times. <laughs> still know it's not the thing that I am dying to do, but I can do it to support the team when I need to. That itself was inspiration for me, and seeing my entire team delivering their message. One of the, the really cool things that happens is because the kids connect so well with Bert, afterwards, a lot of the children ask to, you know, they get in line and they kind of almost swarm around Bert and they want autographs and they want stickers and they want pictures. And so we really have to kind of corral them so that they don't like overwhelm Bert. But Bert always makes sure to sign every single piece of glass that he can, sign every book that he can, give any stickers that he can, and take any pictures that he can. The first event was amazing. The second one, the kids were rowdy as hell. <laughs> And, uh, but overall it was an excellent first day and we're pumped, but we're tired. We have to set up at one event, you know, one venue, get everything working properly, do the whole show, make sure Burke gets all the autographs, pack everything up, make sure we don't miss anything, make sure everything gets back in the car. And then of course, once you're done with all of that, you get to another place and then you have to do it all over again. Yeah, it's, it's a constant, um, make the studio, break the studio, make the studio, make the studio. <laughs> I am a walking studio. Where's your green screen? Oh, that's the trick. <laughs> you make things in the background look very sexy. If you don't have the right attitude, it can be very frustrating at times. So you always have to kind of remind yourself, all right, it's an adventure. You don't know what's going to work and what's not. You know things aren't going to work and you just have to go with the flow. We're about to do 1,600 kids this afternoon. So we got all the volunteers and all the potentialists packed up in two cars caravanning over there. We were halfway to one of our next events. I was driving and we hit random mountains. Belize was actually the first time I ever drove in the mountains. Oh, very focused. There's a lot of turns. Yeah, the roads are really bad. Um, Valerie? Yeah. It's gonna be interesting. The random cars that love to come out of nowhere and bicycles and people. Hey Dad, next time we get one of those. <laughs> You have giant mountain cliffs that you can literally look over and see like a 200 foot drop. We're heading to Kaya today to Sacred Heart College. We're going to talk to 1600 young people. Okay. So we're gonna rock the house. And one of the things that we always make sure to not miss out on in any place that we visit is to try some local cuisine. One of the fun things is, is when our whole team sits together and tries different things. It's just the fun atmosphere of still having the family sharing experience while experiencing something new. Lunch was good. Yeah. Yes, especially the ice cream. We're here. Yeah. We're here, guys! Yeah. yeah! Yeah! That event 
definitely showed us that we got very comfortable in the bliss and how we needed to kind of really prep a little bit more before we went on stage. So one technique that we learned that day was to walk the stage before the event to kind of get used to how the seats are set up. And with that setup was completely different. They weren't really spread out. It was just like 1600 students right in front of me. The only hard part about just the addition, the extra 1000 kids is just trying to get the chance to look around and look at all of them. But then once you finally do, the anxiety kicks in and you forget what you're gonna say again. I'm part of this tour because I believe we all need to tap more into our potential so that we can help change the world and start bringing the world back on a positive note. Now, with all that negative energy, all that energy in general, I went ahead and found a way to want to motivate myself to want to change. Sometimes we forget that we could be that person that someone else looks up to. It's made our youth believe in, their, in themselves. It, it's brought more leadership in them. It's brought more leadership in our youth. And this is something I will always encourage and applaud you guys for doing a great job in bringing out the positiveness in our youth. Every single superhero has a goal to make a better quality of life. And they will not stray from their goals. They're pretty good, I mean, by the crowd that I was just fending off from him at the um, autograph table, obviously they were happy, so. You already got used to the other place, so when you came over here, the shift, yeah. energy shift, the microphone was horrible, that didn't help. You're also being held back because you couldn't move. Yeah, you couldn't move. I kept pulling on the mic at the end of the stage. The stage was bouncing so much that everything we're loosening kept the cable. loosening up. I had yeah. to tape everything down like massive. I was ready to go through the stage like... <laughs> Yeah, that thing was levitating. Yeah. To learn how you can support the Motivational Missionaries, visit our website and connect with us on your favorite social media. Hi, welcome to the family. My name's LJ, and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And, and don't forget to subscribe.